What is up guys, Miss Angel here and welcome back to another video. So last time we were in here, this is our dormitory and we're looking for um, a thing, you know, one of those, that flash, flash drive for um, Warren who, like, I don't even know who he is, he's either a friend or a brother or something of the sorts, but um, yeah, we had a little bit of a look around, but I guess, like, the best place to find it would I be on so here. Camera porn. Look at these vintage <laughs> beauties. <laughs> yeah, we we already Lauren discovered that. Laugh. It's nice to feel like I already made a real That we're a, a photography geek. Oh, you already made a friend. Okay, so he's not our brother. All right, so he is a friend. Yeah. If you ever wanted to check them out, thanks again for the help. I'm a scientist. More than an artist. All right. Um. It's a sticky note. What does it say? Looks like Dana left me a little closer. Borrowed your drive. All right. Okay. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. So we need to go and find Dana's room then. Which I mean, we're in the dormitories already, so it can't be too far away. You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. <laughs> All right, what happened there? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. <laughs> drama queens of Blackwell. <laughs> so drama queens aren't in yeah. just in real life. They're in games as well. I will never understand. But anyway, let's talk to this hey, chick. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. <laughs> Sarcasm. I love it. What did she do? What did she do? What, what did happened? she do? What didn't she do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Ouch. Oh. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. Well, Just we don't really care. We, we kind of came to see That's Dana. I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Dana. I mean, Juliet. Juliet Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. <laughs> I didn't even think you knew it my was. name at all. Of course I do. Of course. Just because Juliet. I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. Yeah. So how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sex. And Zachary won't oh, answer Victoria. his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Right. I mean, like from what we've learned from Vic But I said Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. Oh, okay. In her room. Yeah, see, I mean, from what we've learned from Victoria so far, she's not exactly the most genuine, nice kind of person, is she? She's a bit of a shit stirrer. So it wouldn't surprise me if, um, if, you know, she's just... Oh, look, there's a room there. If she's um, made this up. It's, I mean, I don't think we should really go in there, but what else are we supposed to do, right? Um... What are we looking at? Man, I don't want to look at his stuff. Tablet? Could it be in a tablet? Let's look no, at this. No, officer, I'm not snooping. Just admiring Victoria's cutting edge tech. I'm not going to use it, man. That's this. That feels wrong. But this. Yes, Victoria has the best retina screen laptop. Let me just check to see if she posted my picture. Really? We're going to do that? Oh, man. I'll give Victoria props for not posting my photo, and for this okay. nice shot. Who cares? Our photo wasn't. Our photo was good oh, anyway. This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast. So sad and to inform you that I here. totally punked Juliet and Dana. Just now, all I had to do was mention to Juliet that I saw a nasty sex from Dana on Zach's phone. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So, like suspected, she's been shit stirring. I really don't know why people do this, but anyway. They're in high school, so I guess it happens. Um, so we need to take. Oh, wait. We 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 need a. We need to print email. That's what we need to do. I feel really weird being in her room doing this. Like this is. This better convince Not something Juliet we really should innocent. be doing, but hey. Leave. Let's get out of here. 
Let's get the hell out of there. Okay, clear this up and get the flash. We just want the flash drive, you know? <laughs> That's all we want. Juliet, read this. Of course. <laughs> I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No, but I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Thanks, Max. You're like the Blackwell Ninja. Now We're let's see ninja. what Zach has to say That's about like... Victoria. You set me free. Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Cool. That's all we wanted. <laughs> Almost done. Uh, on Get the, the flash drive, and then I'll go cool. see Warren. Must protect my precious, so Max never has to chase it down again. What? <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Um. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Dana. All right. Thanks. Bye. Oh, we have a message from Warren, and we check that by pressing that. Yes. Oh, I'm from mom as well. What is? I mean, not mom. Sorry, mom. What does mom have to say? Your principal sent me an email saying that you told some tall tales about a Blackwater honor student. What? Not tall tales. Did we tell the truth? Principal said this was a serious false charge. <laughs> right. He's right. Yeah. Well, don't be worried because you sh he, she should be more worried about the fact that we can actually, like, you know, reverse time. <laughs> but anyway. I took the more I text the longer I take on my way okay bye yep that's us we're off we're off let's go find Warren um I think if I remember correctly from the last episode we did we're supposed to meet him up in the car park which is back this way Fuck this shit. from where we came from Ow, that hurt. damn Jeez, dude, calm down. are we gonna rewind oh Look at her. She's upset. Yeah, let's rewind. Um, what are we gonna do? Wanna? Alyssa, move your head. If you insist, Max. Uh, now that's what I'm talking about. I actually helped somebody. I mean, like she's not suspicious of how we knew. And the action will have consequences, okay. Max, that was awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> no problem. No problem. You have quick reflexes. Years of mad dodging skills. Bullies never change. Nah, bullies That's are shit. You're, you're smart. We should hang out more. Now I have to finish this stupid book. <laughs> yeah, she seems alright. Yeah, we'll hang out more. I like you here. Uh, athletic field main building. Alright, I believe we are supposed to head this way. Go to the parking lot, yes. That's what we want to do. So don't think I'm blind. Oh, I this see everything dick. here at Blackwell. Do you understand? I don't what like I'm this saying? guy. He's such a jerk. He takes his job far too seriously. Alone. Take a photo? What why? Let's intervene. Hey, why don't you leave her alone? Excuse us, this is official campus business. Excuse yeah, me. and you you're officially a jerk. Seriously. Hey, hey. Nobody is bullying anybody. I'm doing my job. No, you're not. <laughs> you're <part laughs> That's what I mean. He takes his job way too seriously. I will remember this conversation. Okay, good on you. Alright, well at least we got rid of him. Oh, Max, that was great. I think you scared him for once. I, I have to go, but thank you. It means a lot. No Anytime, problem. Kate. We're just an everyday hero felt right like now. An everyday hero helping kids. If <laughs> now <laughs> That's officer right. David yeah. Dickhead is after me. David Dickhead. Maybe I should rewind and mind my own business. No, that's fine. We can handle him. Let's go to go to the parking lot. Mm, okay. Mm. I 
have to go find Warren and give him back his flash drive. All right, yep, so let's do that. Let's go find Warren and give him back his drive. Graffiti, what does it say? Retarded. <laughs> Fucking hell. Max, That's actually pretty funny. Get your ass over here. What's up, Warren? Let's give him his flash what drive. What up, Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Here, yeah, well, he went in for the hug and we shot him cool. down. Very old school. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then, so am I. You okay? <laughs> it's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. <laughs> um. Yes, I guess we're gonna act dumb. Really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? Yeah, thanks. Did we? Yeah, thanks. You had some cool shit on there, from Akira to Twilight Zone, which seems apropos today. I consider myself a pop cultural pirate connoisseur. That does sound better than thief. <laughs> ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Um, seen it. <laughs> seen it? I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Um, not at all. No, Not at all. Sensitive is, nice. is good, unless you're a pushover. Yeah, for sure. You have hip taste and a quick mind. Thanks for noticing, Max. The right girl. Ah, oh, he liked that. If I was he lucky. likes us. Speaking totally likes us. Fast, totally not our brother. I my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. Um, yeah, let's just. It's, he seems like a good guy, right? Let's talk to him. I need to talk to somebody just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real? It was Are we gonna like tell him? Max Caulfield, right? What? You're one of the Jefferson's photo groupies? I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathroom. You just jerk right up in our you face. Best tell me what you told the principal? Now. Um. Answer me, bitch. Like what are you talking bitch. about? Bitch. Wow. I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Oh, that's Do a jerk from the toilets. Me. I pay people for that. This worry guy's loose, yourself, man. Max it's crazy. Um, take a step take back, a step bro. Take a step back, Nathan Prescott. Oh, man. You're telling me what to do? Get away from her, dude. Hey, leave him alone. Oh Nobody God. tells me what to do. Not my this parents. This guy needs some chill. Or that whore leave in the bathroom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we got him. Max? Chloe? No way. Oh, it's Chloe? You again. Oh, oh, also, oh, the girl Get the girl in the bathroom was Get our best friend. Don't even try to run. No, oh, man, this guy just Nobody. he needs some medication or some shit. I'm glad I'm glad that the security guy came along because we just left Warren there. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up. Messed and up for dangerous. sure. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. <laughs> After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. Don't give me the guilty face. At least pretend you're glad to see me. I am seriously glad to see you. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Um, 
I have no idea. I have Take no him. idea. I know he's a press card. And an asshole. Your friend really stood up for you. Warren? Yeah, he yeah, did. I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. It feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? Yeah, and well, I guess. I guess. Well, we're back. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. <laughs> At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Yeah, of course. Of course. It's one of the best photography programs in the country. And my favorite teacher, Mark Jefferson. So you came back to Arcadia for a teacher, not your best friend. Don't you think Aww. I'm happy to see you? No. And that. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. Um, let's just apologize. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just yeah, wanted we, we've to been settle slack. in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. I bet you don't use these sad <laughs> excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. She has a good point, you know. We, <laughs> we're best friends. Childhood friends. And we, we have, we've been back for a month and we haven't even got a hold of her. So that's a bit sad. Let's just be sorry. We're sorry. Oh no. <laughs> Man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. My step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. <laughs> Welcome home, Max. I like this chick. She's cool. She seems like the kind of person that I would be friends with in real life. Okay, so I guess this is their house. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home shit home. <laughs> home shit home. <laughs> I like Chloe. Chloe's cool, I like her so far. I actually, I like all the characters so far. Warren's pretty cool, I like him too. Except for obviously the bitch and the douche and the takes his job too seriously. But um, yeah, our friends seem to be quite cool people. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool, at least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. <laughs> Put on some music while I medicate. Medicate. <laughs> Um, alright then. Where's the music at? Postcard. Drawer. We're not gonna go and look through a drawer. God damn. Box. Bag. Closet. Um, where's the music? Height chat. What the fuck? Oh. Shit. Life. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so she's a bit emo. Um, When's the last time I had to dig through Chloe's crap? Music on the laptop, maybe? She looks super happy. She looks super sad. Yeah, there's been like a turning point in her life. She looks super stoned. <laughs> like, possibly, I don't know. Teenage, teenage life. Um, anyway, where, where's the music thing? Hmm. I don't know what I'm doing, I'll stop. Okay. Here we go, here it, it is. It won't play without any power. Okay, so we need to turn the power on. Power. This one, this one here. Switch it on. Fairy lights. It seems quite old school. Older looking stereo. Now let's see what kind of music Chloe is into these days. So, what, we need CDs or what? 
Look at these are pictures. Look at that. Chloe and her dad oh. were so close. Her dad died, maybe? Oh. Everybody lies, no exceptions. Yeah, she's clearly got quite some chip on her shoulder. Um, anyway. A little this. I just want music. We're looking for CDs. Here we go. Do we want to look any further? No. Who's that? Hey, give me that. Sorry, I wasn't trying to be nosy. Obviously, she was a good friend. It's putting it mildly. A good friend? Or a girlfriend, perhaps? So, I mean, do we know who they are or not? Who is she? Let's just so, say ask. who is she? Do you mind talking about her? Rachel Amber. She was my angel. After my dad died and you moved, I felt abandoned. Rachel saved my life. Man, I had no idea. Well, you never made much effort to find out. I was 14. We were best friends. Mm. I never forgot. Even if I was an asshole and didn't keep in touch. But you had Rachel. Rachel had my back. We were gonna kick the world's ass. You would laugh at how different we were. She wanted to be a star. She looks like a model. That was her plan. Our plan. <laughs> Get the hell out of Bigfootville and into Los Angeles. What happened? So what happened? Did your folks, your mom, try to stop you? My mom was too busy hooked up with Sergeant Shithead. I feel the love. Now, <laughs> when did Rachel actually disappear? Six months ago. Oh, she said this, she she's together to left Arcadia. Without a word. Without me. Um, how do you know? What? How do you know what she disappeared? Appearance? Maybe she wanted to start a totally new life. Unlike you, she would have told me, okay? Something happened to her. I believe you. I'm just trying to get all deductive. Before Rachel left, she said she met somebody who changed her life. And poof. And right. you haven't heard anything from her since? Like everybody in my life. My dad, oh, that's you, sad. and Rachel. Gone. Can you put on some music now? Yeah, cool. We got the CD. I feel like we've... Oh, she, she feels really sad. Um... Anyway, we're back now, so let's be a good friend. Uh, yeah, yeah, but uh, before we carry on, before I put the music on or whatever, uh, we've run out of time, so um, yeah, we'll have to continue with that um, in the next episode. So thank you all for joining. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.